your friends. F them. Look, I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking this guy is implying that I should go have sexual intercourse with my friends. And that's completely false. Unless you really want to. Look, I'm a very family-friendly channel, as you can tell. And whatever way you swing, I support you, my friend. All jokes aside, what I'm getting at is that success requires loneliness. Of course, if your objective is different, if you don't live life for success and to create a solid foundation for your kids that are to come and for your family and to give back and have charitable donations and causes that you give to, then I understand, skip this video, go to something else. But if you're anything like me, success is probably your entire world. Look, if you hang out with five people who each make $10,000 a year, you're gonna be the sixth person who also makes only $10,000 a year. But if you surround yourself with people who are better, and I understand this is a little bit harder to implement than it is to say, but look, people are looking for people just like them. Now, on the contrary, if you surround yourself with five, maybe not millionaires, but guys who are on an upward trajectory, one guy who made 150, one guy who made 300, one guy who made 500 last year, 700 and another guy who sure we might say is the jackass of the group only made 80 that year you're probably going to average out to make about three to four hundred whatever the average of those numbers are within this next year so point being is you need to surround yourself with people who are better than you and if you can't find that level of person if you can't find people who you can learn things from that you can pick apples from their apple tree and rip pages out of their books then my friend, you need to say, fuck everyone around me. I need to power up, level up, and find better quality individuals. Now it sounds harsh, but the reality is a lot of people in your life come and go for particular reasons. I've been in probably hundreds of relationships naturally. It's not my fault I'm so charismatic and I end up being friends with everyone. And at some point I had to look myself in the mirror and say, I only became friends with this set, these groups of people just go out and party i only became friends with this set this group of people to get better in school and to have better grades i only became friends with these kinds of people to get better and more buff in the gym so i had to tell myself these guys were for this occasion and these guys are not for this occasion and when it came to the occasion of my success i looked across the spectrum of friends i had created and not a single one aligned with my values and my goals and my vision of the future. In 2020 at the age of 18 and as a senior in high school, I dropped literally all of my friends. And there was a point in time where I had no one to go to other than my family and even my family I wouldn't share my goals and my thoughts and my dreams with. Success is a very lonely game, but that's where you create progress and progression. You need to be in your room like I am right now at 1 a.m. creating videos, or creating your email list or creating that text blast that's gonna go out to a thousand of your clients in the morning. You need to be up at 6, 7 a.m. doing the same, rinsing and repeating. This can only happen and you can only maintain this level of drive and discipline when you have no outside distractions. And this means not having low quality people in your life. And if you do have low quality people in your life, trust me, my friend, I've been there. I made the most amount of money in my career when I dropped all of my friends and it sucks. Later in life, we did rekindle and we did get back together. But in that period of my life, I needed to drop everyone because no one was quality enough. So look, you need to treat success like an obstacle because it truly is. You need to develop a certain kind of character and you don't develop this character when you're constantly going out to parties, going out to bars, chasing tail, so on and so forth with a bunch of people that you don't really resonate with that are stoners and that constantly get fucked up and blacked out drunk look yourself in the mirror ask yourself honestly are these guys helping me go forward or are they making me regress in life are they pushing me towards my goals and if not drop them immediately <laughs> those friends but all of this comes down to you are you willing to give up small pleasures like playing mw3 or mw2 with a certain group of friends and going hitting the bars with these guys and then also lifting with this guy even though they're all jackasses and make no money it sounds very superficial i know i understand but trust me get over the success obstacle and later in life like myself now you might rekindle with them and you might have a relationship 
If they are there for you after three, four years, then they were true friends. After three, four years of you grinding, if they couldn't sit patiently there, and if they can't understand that in that period of your life, you needed solitude and needed to be alone to get shit done, then they were never meant to be in your life to begin with.